Hey guys, welcome to the Shot Clock. Dave Rubin, Ben Bankowitz, and we wanted to start with this uh, Cavs Clippers game last night. You guys may have seen this. There were three technical fouls called within about two minutes of each other. Uh, the referee, Lauren Holtkamp, now she's, I believe, the third female referee in the NBA, but she's a rookie referee this year. She made three calls. Uh, the first call was on Matt Barnes. It was a questionable call. She didn't even call the foul on it. Uh, the next one was on an inbounds play with Chris Paul. It was also very questionable. And then the third one was after a DeAndre Jordan score. And that one was questionable too. Uh, Chris Paul had this to say after the game. He said, uh-uh. And I said, why uh-uh? And she gave me a tech. Yeah. If that's the case, then this might not be fair. All right, so basically a lot of people are saying, is there some sort of sexist narrative? Is he implying that a woman should not be a referee? In the NBA, uh, we already started talking about this. Uh, you don't think that's where he's going with this? I don't even know. You know, I, I'm very hesitant going forward in life to to agree with the last thing you said, which is a lot of people are angry. <laughs> we have a tendency in this business to yeah. Yeah. presume three means a lot in a league with, you know, tens of millions of fans. Yeah. He said nothing beyond what is on that clip. This is a rookie referee who a veteran player is mm -hmm. trying to intimidate a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's totally reasonable that he might have said, we don't know what's in his heart, but he might have said, hey, maybe this isn't for him, calling three technicals in such a short period of time right. against us. If he had followed that up with anything like, you know, you know, you know, maybe she can't hang with the boys, but he said nothing like that. All he said was this may not be for her talking about a rookie referee. It's a... I think a 100% pass for Chris Paul. Right, so when I say the, a lot of people, I guess I'm generally talking about just the usual internet outrage machine that everyone likes to yeah. you know, make a big deal of something. I think what's more interesting about this is that all three calls were terrible. I mean, they yeah, all were it, terrible. So I didn't the, watch the game, but I was reading the LA Times this morning, and it was pretty clear yeah, that, so that, that, that the all call, three were bad. The call on Matt Barnes, she didn't even make the call. She just mm -hmm. called the tech. The call on Chris Paul. Almost any Matt Barnes technical is probably in some way justified, though. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> right. that, that's what I said to uh, our producer, Jason Rubin. So, all right, so fine. Let's let that one go. <laughs> but by the but, way, go, go Bruins. Okay, continue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then the, the Chris Paul one, it was on a base. He went for a quick inbounds play. It's a play that they do if you're smart in the NBA. And it, he must have muttered a little something. But again, not tech worthy. Yeah, so she in. stopped it by saying, what, too fast? Or yeah. you weren't? Something yeah, to that. Whatever, effect. and so why not just say, he goes, why? And she goes, no, because they weren't set, or we hadn't done this, or I need to touch the ball, and just get back to him and let him inbound. Right, but the thing is, she, Chris Paul did pass her the ball, and she passed it back, and yet she still was saying it was too fast. So it was a bad call, that one. And then the DeAndre Jordan one, he yelled. People yell after they, you know, if they score and they think they got fouled. I right. mean, it was nothing. All three of them were just sort of... Yeah, and these just are pretty these, terrible calls. And, it would, you know, look, I like Matt Barnes. I like how he plays. He seems to make every team he's on better. So. Yeah. But, but I'll leave him out of this group. DeAndre Jordan and Chris Paul are, they're two of the good guys in the NBA, two of the really good guys in the NBA. Yeah. So, you know, they're not riding her. They weren't giving her a particularly tough time. So I suspect that there's enormous pressure for a, a rookie referee uh, to perhaps assert their control over the game. I don't even think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. Um, and doing it in a blowout game is fairly it, harmless. The, the, the Clippers were never in that game. From, yeah. the second, from the end of the first quarter on, they were not in that game. So we're talking about three calls that had nothing to do with the final score, who, who wins this game. She's trying to make her mark. It's not, it's, none of this is the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Uh, but it should, uh, it should die a peaceful death. And, and, and if she was a little too quick, obviously somebody needs to tell her, hey, I know it's tough being a referee, and let's not kid ourselves. I know it's tough being a female referee. No for question. Sure, for sure. Right now, there are only two. You know, you said there have been three. I yeah. think ever: D. Cantner, Violet Palmer, and 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 what's her last name? Lauren Heitkamp. And, Holtkamp. And, and, Holt, and, and Holtkamp. And now there's just Palmer and Holtkamp. So it's hard, no yeah. question. But you know, you don't want to. Uh, you you gotta you 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 gotta take your lumps as a rookie. Yeah. Uh, slight sidebar to this: Do you think that maybe they shouldn't have uh, rookie referees? Doing nationally televised games, like maybe get that first season out, doing a lot of Milwaukee. There's too many, there's too many nationally. Right. First of all, why can't Milwaukee be on? <laughs> why can't, can't Milwaukee be on TV? That's a whole other why issue. Why can't we see the Greek God on national <laughs> television? Um, so uh, you know, let them let them get some of this I, stuff out. I think out. they probably do, but it's halfway through where we're at 50 games, and you got to be on sometimes. Yeah. Um, you know, this was a pressure situation, and. Uh, and uh, you know, and 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 it looks like she was a little quick with the technicals. But I love that it didn't 
This was a blowout. This wasn't 108, 106. Yeah. This was a game that was 11 as a final, and it wasn't an 11 point game. The Cavaliers, who, by the way, have now won 12 in a row, yeah. dominated that game. Yeah. All right, there you go. Uh, our call is no sexism here. Uh, what do you think? Let us know in the comments right down below.